Fresh out of Papa Murphy's Kitchen, the limited time double bacon cheddar pizza. Uh, actually, it's fresh out of my oven. Dad, it's just an expression. Nacho cheddar cheese sauce, crispy bacon, Canadian bacon? Now that is an expression. Change the way you pizza. This is the 10 o'clock news on KTV Fox 2. All night we kind of heard cracking. It was the fence continuing to break because the hillside was continuing to shift. With more storms on the way, some people worry the Bay Area's severe weather problems are about to get even worse. Good evening. I'm Julie Hayner. And I'm Mike Maybach. Flooding and landslides, they are two problems people are having to deal with across the state. Yeah, both of those issues right here in the Bay Area today. The problems are mounting enough for Governor Gavin Newsom to add six counties to an emergency declaration. Now they will get lumped into a group of counties where an emergency declaration is already in effect, including many in the Bay Area. President Biden has also approved a presidential emergency declaration authorizing the federal government to assist in response efforts. And some of the most widespread flooding is in Monterey County. People forced from their homes after a weekend levee breach. And tonight, the potential for new flooding prompts evacuations along the Salinas River. We have team coverage of the extreme weather tonight. KTVU's Alyssa Harrington is live in Santa Rosa, where people are keeping a close watch on a landslide there. But we begin right now with our chief meteorologist, Bill Martin, who's tracking new storms heading our way. Bill. Yeah, uh, Julie, we're pretty fortunate in that we're getting a break. We had kind of a break today. There were showers, rain showers at times, but the kind of, for the most part, a lot of the Bay Area was just hit and miss. Not a lot of accumulation today. And tomorrow's kind of the same way. So we get basically all day tomorrow to have a